Oh, rejection. The thief of joy. We've all been there before, haven't we? Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's Brett Maverick here. I hope you all are having an awesome day so far. So this is for you guys out there who have had experience where, you know, you have this interest in this girl and she seems to have interest in you, but then, you know, you do something wrong. Maybe, uh, maybe you know what it is, maybe you don't, and she seems to have completely lost interest in you. You're not hearing from her, she, she's not texting you, she's not calling you, and you're just stuck wondering, what the heck did I do wrong and how can I get her back, right? Well guys, this has happened to absolutely everyone. I've said it before and I'll say it again, even the richest, the most handsome, the most charismatic bastards in the world, everybody has got rejected and everybody has had women or men lose interest in them. So this is how you handle it. So you're wondering, what do I do? Do I call her? Do I reach out to her? Do I send her a letter, a dozen roses? No, you don't do any of that. This is what you do. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You do nothing for at least one week. Is this a surprise? Because I feel like this should be a surprise to you guys. Because this is probably what a lot of you guys are doing wrong. You guys probably were showing too much attention and too much neediness to the girl in the first place. So you need to go in the opposite direction. It's simple logistics. So what I want you to do is take at least a week off from that person. Don't reach out to them, don't call them, don't like any other stuff on social media. Do nothing. What this is gonna do is give you time to reset, to you know get off the clock from you know obsessing over this person, right? Because that's probably what got you in this trouble in the first place. So you're gonna give it a week, and chances are you might hear from her because she's gonna be wondering, what the heck? Why didn't? Why am I not hearing from him? I always hear from him. He's always texting me, right? So chances are she might reach out, but if she doesn't, no big deal. You can reach out to her after a week as a friend. I don't want you to show any romantic interaction or concern at all. Just reach out to her, say, be like, hey, me and some friends are going to the bar, you should tag along, you know. Just reach out to her as a buddy because this is gonna hint to her that, oh, he's lost interest in me. He doesn't care about me in a sexual or romantic way anymore. He just friend zoned me, right? What I want you to do is pretty much friend zone her and that's gonna kinda flip the switch on her and it's gonna reverse the roles. But that's not all I want you to do. I guess there is one thing that I want you to do during this time and that's something. Go out there, live your life, go to you know bars, clubs, go to the library, go meet people, go talk to people, you know, hop on Tinder, right? Use social media, um, use these resources to your advantage. There is an abundance of women out there if you just open your damn eyes. So kind of low key, my real hope for you guys is that you do honestly lose interest in this woman and find somebody else or multiple other people to uh, interact with and to you know talk to. Because to be honest, it's a lot easier to attract women from scratch than after you've already fucked it up. So you reach out to her after a week. She, you know, accepts your invitation to whatever you're doing. You know, you can uh, bring her out to the club or the bar with the guys or a group of people and uh, just take it from there. You know, treat her like a buddy and then try to escalate from there. But if she doesn't respond or if she turns you down, that's it, bro. Cut her off because she's not worth your damn time. What you guys need to realize is that there is an abundance of women out there. There are unlimited women out there. To focus on just one woman, unless she's your you know, girlfriend, fiance, or wife, is such a sheltered way to live. It's a very Epicurean way of living. I'm gonna read you one of my favorite quotes about rejection by Bryant McGill. Rejection is merely a redirection, a course correction to your destiny. If you get rejected or you lose a girl's interest, don't think of it as a negative. Try to take it as a positive. You know, analyze what you may have possibly done wrong. Maybe you were not romantic enough or maybe you were too needy or uh, too jealous, whatever it might be. Learn what you can from the interaction. Worst comes to worst, you can reach out to her and be like, hey, yo. I just gotta know like what happened, what went wrong, you know? Learn from that interaction, learn from the relationship and see what you can do better moving forward. But also take it as a sign that you and that person were not right for each other and the relationship would have ended in a train wreck eventually anyways. So it's probably good that it ended now instead of you wasting all of your time with this person. 
So guys, like I mentioned before, what got you into this trouble in the first place is I'm assuming is you gave this person too much attention and too much of your time and you were showing too much neediness. So what I really want from you guys is to create a life where you have a lot going on, where you don't make this person forefront and foremost in your whole being, you know, have other shit going on, have other girls you're talking to. Obviously, if she's your girlfriend or whatever, don't be talking to other girls, but you know what I'm saying, have options and have a damn life. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in the next few videos. I read every comment. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn post notifications on, and until next time, peace out.